Hello friends, I'm Harry from Harry's Gameplay Channel on YouTube and I'm going to continue to play Days Gone, it's Advanced Studio Production, this will be the 117th episode and I'm streaming live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, welcome to my live stream, thank you. Hope you guys are doing well this morning, I feel great, um, the weather here in Philadelphia is 51 degrees Fahrenheit and it's cloudy, it's going to rain, it was raining yesterday all day, today, last night and today I believe it's going to rain again, I love the weather, so make sure you guys stay safe, stay healthy. And please do me a favor, make sure you take care of the elderly, check on them, see if they're doing okay. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps uh, one has to take in order to do a live stream. We're going to go into the channel content. And we're going to click on the title of the stream, which is Days Gone. Our best for the production. This will be episode 117. And then we're going to click on the title, and that's going to take you into the uh, video detail window, where you're going to see a box that says description. Enter a description that describes the game to our friends, so that way they know what the game is about. Then we're going to scroll further, further down, where we're going to see... Um, Playlist. Make sure you create a playlist for each of your games. That way it's easier for friends to find what they want to watch. I'm going to select uh, Days Gone. That is the playlist that I created for this game. Uh, we're going to scroll further down and you're going to see a tag box. Make sure the tags you enter are about the game. And also the system you're streaming from. I'm streaming from PS5, so I'm going to select those tags and I'm going to enter them. And then we're going to scroll further down, we're going to see language, I'm going to select English, and then right below that, there is this recording date, so we're going to select today, which is October the 5th, 2022, and then the stream location is Philadelphia, I'm going to select Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and click on that, and a little further down, you see category, add your stream to a category, so viewers can find it more easily on gaming, so I'm going to select gaming, and enter the title, of the game. Days Gone. It was released on uh, Days Gone was released in 2019. And then we're gonna save all that information. And then we're gonna go back to channel content. Where you're gonna see live now, Days Gone, or that's the production. It's so 117. So we know that there is a Wi-Fi icon click on that. And that's going to take us into the live control room. We're going to see stream setting, analytics, your activity, and stream health. Also, you're going to see a chat window where the friends can chat with you back and forth. I suggest you do so, just to be polite. Thank you. Uh, hello, um, Substrate. Hello, nothing like it. And hello, Drill Dog. Thank you so much, guys, for joining this morning. I hope you're feeling great. I feel relaxed, energized. I'm planning to sleep last night, finally. So please give me a few minutes while I enter a message from my friends from the chat, and then I'll continue playing Days Gone. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for waiting. 
Uh, Jildum says, Harry, the man, good morning, great to see you, blessed for another day. Thank you so much, my friend, thank you, I appreciate your kind words. Uh, thank you to um, Substrict, and thank you for nothing like it for joining this morning. Thank you, guys. Now, let me press continue. Now, how does uh, the audio sound? Everything sound, sounds okay to you guys? Anything on the headset? We're going to continue. Blasphemous, what's up, my friend? Welcome this morning. Welcome. Hope you're feeling great. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm going to continue praying. Day's gone. I'm going to select energy. And we're playing on uh, this trick. It's um, Iron Butte. So we need here one intel collectible so i need to find that and most likely that's in one of the caves so i'm gonna have to search around and see if i find any caves Now the caves are usually on the on rock formation, so I have to check on the edge of the map, which is like a, a rock ridge, and also wherever I see some rock formations. So let me check this one on the right to see if there's anything. Okay, look, this is not. gas you know that I can't believe that I ran out of fuel so I'm gonna have to walk the bike back to the camp luckily it's not too far away and I'm uphill so I gotta just cruise cruise all the way down nice Okay, I'm going to search. In all these Nero camps, you always find fuel. You find supplies. So if that's just happened to you, ever happens to you, just go back to the camp. Luckily, I wasn't far away, so I was able to just walk the bike or cruise the bike to the post. There's gas. Let me go check the fire because there's normally gas, a gas can next to the fire, which I don't recommend you to do. <laughs> And here it is. Uh, Michael Kagoba. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Blasphemous. Uh, M Mixer. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. Drill, drill them. And we have uh, Substrict. And we have uh, Nothing Like It. Who blew up my car last night. Uh, first time I have a car on my own. On, on, on GTA 5. Uh, five minutes into the game, it blew my car. Not nice. Not nice at all. Just Michael from the Netherlands. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so let me go back to my motorcycle. And we are going to fill up the tank. Wow, that's five gallons. Good. Nice. 
All right, we're going to save by pressing triangle. We're going to repair the bike while we're here. Let's see. That should do it. Nice. Save once again. Now, since I'm here, I'm going to, I'm going to check. I'm going to check now that I'm here. Uh, there might be some extra supplies that I can use. Uh, let me see where I'm at. 100%. Okay, we could get one of these. All of these are six out of six. All of these are six out of six. Uh, same here. So, yeah, we don't need, actually, I don't need anything, but I'm going to go in and get some ammo. And here's the health kit. I can definitely use that. Okay. The max you can carry in health kits is uh, three. And you can find them or you can purchase them at the um, one of the friendly camps. But in each of these posts, there's always a locker where you can keep your your arsenal. And also, you can buy ammo. The ammo's not free. You got to buy it. So we're good. Got plenty of ammo. Now, there's also a bed if you want to take a break and just uh, sleep overnight. You can do that. It doesn't give you energy or anything. It just changes the time of day. It's not like uh, Red Dead Redemption where you got to go to sleep so you can um, get energy. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption between 5 and 8. It's okay. It's an okay game. Now, you also find few... Uh-oh. Now I'm using my three, uh, 3D, there you go, I knew it. Uh, I installed the 3D uh, headset on it. And as you already may know, get away, get away from me, get away from me, you creepy beast. Get away from me. Uh, as you already may know, uh, PlayStation 5 supports 3D audio. So the headsets I have on is the PlayStation headset. It's top of the line headsets. It's a 7.1 uh, channel. So I'm, I'm hearing every little sound there is, and it sounds awesome. It sounds awesome. I purchased these about like four years ago. Um, I think I paid like $280, $290. Uh, they're on sale now for about 240 And I, I never used them. I had them collecting dust on the shelf. Well, a couple of nights ago, I, I decided to install them and also uh, install the the surround sound system that I have. So I attached that to the, to the TV and also the 3D software that was included already in PlayStation. I activated that, so it sounds amazing. Now I don't really like using headsets because I feel that. Um, hello, hi right, son. It restricts your sounds around you. Like for example, my son just walked in. I was able to hear him come in. So that's one thing. When you wear headphones, you basically headphones. You're not aware of your surroundings, so it's very difficult to use headphones all the time. And also, uh, it gives me a headache. Well, you happen to have an air pump tire for that. Uh, for like bicycle? Anything, even if it's a manual because I took the wheel off. I'm trying to plug it, but I don't have air, so I can plug it up. Um, you know, if you use the the hand pump, it's gonna burn the little piston inside. Oh, it's gonna mess it up. Yeah, it happened to me before. But if you oh. want to borrow it, yeah. I could try to find it for you. you gonna borrow it? Give me a minute, guys. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, because when I, when I used it to um, fill up the, the hole, yeah. it burned a little piston inside. I made a little rubber gasket, uh, okay. so when you pump it, let it, let it cool off a minute, and then... Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I want to get it have it in the basement, so...
I'm uh, um, probably walk around and take the monkey. I was probably gonna walk around and take the monkey. Take the monkey, just be careful with it, okay? Um, when you turn it on, remember it's fuel injected. You don't have to press the gas. <laughs> just turn the key and turn it on. Thank you, my friends, for waiting. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's my son, Toon. Check out his channel, T O O N 215. He did a, he did a 48th uh, state tour of the United States. It took him 10 months. Uh, can you guys hear me? All right. Um, who else we got here? Wait a minute. Let me say hello to some of the friends that just joined us. Yeah, he needs air on his, in his tire, so. I uh, lend him the Monty so he could go and get that tire uh, fixed. Um, uh, he says, uh, what's oh, Mixer says, yeah, I saw. Yeah, last night, um, nothing like it. I uh, decided to blow up my car on GTA 5. Uh, the first car I ever get. I just got that car. I drove it for like five minutes, went to the casino. I walked out of the casino. There was a battle outside. I go into the park and I get in the car to go cruising around, you know, because that's what I wanted to do. Next thing you know, kaboom. Blew up my car. No reason at all. Uh, so, um, yeah, Mixon says, I know, I saw. Blasphemous says, Harry, uh, do you know me? Blasphemous, I know that you've come to the chat uh, numerous times and I appreciate your support, but know you uh, personally? I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know anyone by the name of Blasphemous. But uh, thank you for joining me, my friend. And then we have uh, Just Michael from the Netherlands. Welcome, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you so much. And then we have the Black Badger. The, with two E's, the Black Badger. He says, yo. Then we have, um, who else we got here? Persensky, Persensky uh, Fortune, thank you, my friend. I believe you're new here, right? Yeah, I and Black Badger, I believe you're also new. Sensitivity, what's going on, my friend? Uh, Sensitivity is a member. He joined Harry's Gameplay channel. It's a special offer, four ninety nine a month for a limited time. So please take advantage of that. One of the um, perks of that or um, incentives is to play online when I do play online live. So please, take advantage of that um, offer, please, my friends. Uh, good morning, Sensitivity. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Andrew Nasarov, what's up, my friend? What's going on? Welcome. Uh, Michael says, I'm playing um, Ark Survival on PlayStation 5 right now. Awesome. Uh, I don't know what the game is or what it looks like. I've never played it. But uh, maybe I'll check it out sometime, okay? Thank you so much, my friend, for joining us this morning. And good luck in the gameplay. Thank you. Uh, we have Mirko. What's up, Mirko? What's going on, my friend? Then we have uh, nothing like it says, Harry, it was an accident. Yeah, I bet it was. Uh, you had to aim that thing to the car. The car was yellow. Uh, how can you be make? That's not an accident. Uh, just Michael says, uh, you can repair your car in GTA Online. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Sensitivity says, Harry. Michael Salazar, what's up, Michael? Como estas? Uh, hello, hello, Michael. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, Michael Netherlands says, uh, I call him Michael Netherlands because he is from the Netherlands. So this is global, baby. There's friends from all over the world watching. Uh, but he goes by Just Michael. NL, but he's from the Netherlands, it's NL, Netherlands, so 
Anyway, um, he says, you can call Moto Insurance. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. And then Black Badger says, how can I join? Well, below uh, the description. Wait a minute, I heard something. Yo, guys, this 3D audio 7.1 is awesome. You can hear the wind blowing. You can hear anyone creeping up behind you, like the footsteps. You can hear uh, the creatures from a distance. Uh, even though they're not on the map, you can hear them. And you think they're right behind you. <laughs> well, that's what I, I hear. I thought it was something behind me, and it wasn't. It was the wind blowing. Um, and da, 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 da. Oh, and by joining, okay, under each um, game, just a description, there's a link there. You see the link, and then you see join at the end. You can click on that. That should take you to the channel uh, page where there is a, 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 a button that says join. Just click on that and follow the instructions, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Michael Salazar says, just ate my tacos. So I'm ready for some zombie takedown. <laughs> Enjoy your taco, Michael. Thank you. A taco, that sounds pretty good right now. Um, I usually, when I go, I have a veggie taco. Um, yeah. If we make them at home, I use turkey meat. I use ground turkey, and we make them home. And sometimes I'd rather make them home because I know what I'm putting in it. You just buy the little... Um, taco kit it comes with the sauce it comes with the everything and you just follow the instructions and you make your own tacos at home and you can put whatever you want jalapeno peppers you can put onions you can put whatever you want and turkey is much healthier than, than the other meat um this is, this is who am i okay oh nothing like this is okay i was blowing up helicopters and lock onto you okay got you brother Joe, dude, good morning. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Bonjour. Michael is in France, so he's watching us from France, guys. Global, baby, global. <laughs> Merkel says, nah, he did it on purpose. Uh-oh. Somebody says, ah, oh, he did it on purpose. Okay, Michael Sada says, we love turkey bacon. <laughs> uh, and Mixer, uh, this says, LOL, Harry, don't give up. Anything about nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. I couldn't read the, the word you put in there because that word is restricted on my channel. So you can maybe rephrase your 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 comment and it will show up. I have restrictions on the channel and any words that are uh, not nice, uh, they, call, they, they, they consider them to be uh, words that are a no-no. So if one of those words pop up in your message, just one little word. It won't show your message, uh, Michael. I mean, Mixer, MD Mixer, M Mixer. So you can rephrase your, your comment so it could show up. All right, buddy? Thank you so much. I get what you're saying. I definitely understand what you're saying. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Uh, Luna, 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 Luna. What's up? What's going on, my friend? Are you okay? Are you playing Madden 23? <laughs> I know you love that Madden 23. Joe Duke says, how are you doing? And what happened to the stream last night? Well, I, I, I set up the stream, and I, I wasn't going to play online last night, but my son came in in the morning, and he gave me a couple of hints of what to do. He helped me get a couple of cars. Uh, he helped me purchase uh, my first garage. So um, I decided to play, and I invited a few friends, Bundy. I invited um, um, NF Blue. I'm going to say NFS Blue. I invited nothing like it. Well, I invited about a half a dozen people or more, but it seemed like no one, no one was popping up. And then I start, I put my tag, and I, what I use on on, which is the same as my name on the channel. It's only written differently. I'm gonna put it right there now, so you guys can see what it is. And a few a few friends showed up. So after about thirty minutes. I said, like, what's going on? No one's coming up. Like, about a dozen people that I invited on, like, three three showed up, I believe, or joined. Uh, everyone else was asking me, oh, how can I join? How can I join? So I put my, my information on the on the bar so that way um, they can just join. And because um, it was by invitation only. So a few of them showed up. And after a half an hour, I said, look, I'm just going to play. So I played for about... I don't know, five, ten minutes. I went to, the first thing I did was got my car from the garage 
And then from there, I went to the casino to spin the wheel. I spun the wheel. I think I wore some clothing, a jacket or something, some ugly jackets. <laughs> I got, that's one that they give it to you for free. But then I found out that you have to have chips. So it's not really free. I don't know how that works. But anyway, I went outside to get in the car and go somewhere else. I'm in the parking lot. When I get, when I went outside, there was there was a a, a, a big um, fight out there with some of the friends and the law. So I uh, I saw one of the law officers, um, and I I ran past him and I ran into the car and to the parking lot. Got in my car. I'm doing a U-turn to leave the parking lot, and all of a sudden, kaboom! Nothing like it blew up my car. It blew it up for no reason at all. So um, I I wanted to go into the track to go racing around the track, because that's what I wanted to do with my friends, you know, get your cars, we'll go race around the track, that'll be pretty cool. But when I call my car, it says my car was destroyed by nothing like it. Uh, it uses a different name on the on the, on the, on the um, online gaming. So I'm like, my car is destroyed, so now I can't race. So I said, you know something, I'm out of here. So I ended the stream. And, um, and when I try to um, log back in, uh, when I tried to restream again the broadcast, it was just giving me different messages, that error, 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 and I couldn't get back in. So I waited about 10, 20 minutes. I tried again, but it wouldn't let me back in. So I'm like, what's going on? So you know something? I just said, you know something? I think I'm just going to take some rest. So I decided to take a rest last night, and uh, thank the Lord, I feel energized today. I finally slept like, I don't know, about eight hours, which I normally don't do. Sometimes I sleep four to six hours. But I was so exhausted, I, I finally got some sleep, and thanks to Lord, you know. And today is Yom Kippur, so that's celebrated here in the United States. So my daughter is off from school. So I said, great, I don't have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I was able to sleep to like 9, so it was great, you know, it was great. So um, the stream, since uh, there was nothing really good on it, I mean, I either than waiting a half an hour for everybody to join, and I just decided to just delete it. I deleted it. So there is no stream for last night. It is blank. But, yeah, that, that's what happened. But um, I'm here today. I'm going to continue playing for you guys. And um, thank you for joining me, Joe. Thank you so much. And thank you for asking. Thank you. Uh, okay, here we go. That is correct, Joe. There was only two or three people. That was it. I invited a, a bunch of friends, but a lot of them didn't show up. I don't know if they didn't want to play. I don't know if they only play by the, you know, play online or solo. Maybe a lot of them just don't want to play with anyone else because mishaps was happening. And that was one of the pilot, one of the rules that I said, look, if we play online uh, in a private room with friends, you know, you can't go around destroying your friend's property. You cannot do that. That is a no-no. If you do that, you will never get invited back again. That was the rule that I set from the beginning days ago or weeks ago. But apparently that didn't work. But anyway, I'm here today. I'm going to continue playing for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. We have Nick. What's up, Nick? He says, hi, LOL. <laughs> yeah. So who else we got here? We have Luna. Uh, Joe Duke says, yeah, there were only two or three people. That is correct. Yeah, I invited a bunch of people, but Joe Do said, "Yeah, but nothing like uh, nothing didn't mean to explode your car." Okay, uh, call call what is it? Call me A A R. What's up, friend? What's what's up going on? Welcome. You, you this is your first time here. I never seen your name, but it's call me R J. I believe, RJ. Uh, Duke says, you're welcome, Harry. Uh, here we got, uh, what else we got here? We have Michael Cargoba. Hello, Michael. Welcome, my friend. Then we have Nick, uh, another Nick. We have another Nick. This one is with um, underscore ZF. Usually, I have not seen you for a very long time. Let's hope you have a good day. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Brandon D. Gamer. What's up, Brandon? What's going on, my friend? Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, he says, I would have got here sooner, 
but the donkey just ate at the fast, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you should have gave him some oats <laughs> and some little sugar cubes. <laughs> that would have definitely speed him up. Oh, you know something? Some beans. <laughs> that would have given him some gas. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, that is funny, that is awesome, okay, uh, I changed my name just, why not, lol, <laughs> yeah, you should make it more simple, Nick, instead of all those, um, all those um, um, underscores and, and letters, make it, you know, say uh, just, just, just Nick, or simple Nick, or Nick simple, or Nick, uh, Nick, uh, Nick Bear, uh, Nick uh, Eagle, or Nick, uh, uh, you know, yesterday, uh, one of the friends uh, was talking about, we were talking about food last yesterday morning, uh, Liam Ward started talking about that his house smelled like a bakery because he had some fresh cookies, some fresh bread, a fresh apple pie, and I'm like, oh my God, why are you doing this to me, you know what I mean, early in the morning, I usually skip breakfast. I have maybe an apple or some orange juice. And he's talking about all these pastries early in the morning. So I say, oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. So then later on, he comes back and he says, oh, by the way, I got this giant honey bun. <laughs> A giant honey bun. So, and then one of the friends says something about Kish Lorraine. You know, Kish Lorraine. I'm like, wow, that would be an awesome name for a, a streamer or a gamer. Kish Lorraine. It sounds like Kiss... But it's Kish, Kish, Kish Lorraine. So that's an awesome name for a group, like a punk rock group or maybe a regular group. Kish Lorraine, Kish Lorraine, you got to go and Kish Lorraine. And it, it's pretty cool. But anyway, thank you, my friends, for joining me this morning. I appreciate you, you guys doing so. Thank you so much. We have the bot. The bot never missed a beat. The bot never missed a beat. Um, nothing like it says we're golfing tonight Harry no I, I'm not doing online anymore if I do online I'm going to do private on my own yeah back with some days gone let's do this awesome yeah if I do online I'm going to do that on my own for a while and, and see what I got to get myself my game up to speed and, and uh, I learned my lesson last night so thank you to nothing like it you know, for doing what, what a person did, and um, yeah, it gave me a wake-up call, you know what I'm saying? I, di I didn't have to go play online with anyone. I was doing fine on my own on my channel. I just did that as a courtesy to you guys, as, as for the members. A lot of the members don't really want to play online. They just say, look, we just, we just join because we want to support what you do. We enjoy what you do. I know how many hours you spend a day doing this to, you know, bring us some entertainment. So, you know, I did that out as a courtesy and also as one of the incentives for um, for um, becoming a member. But I, I last night, while before I went to sleep, I was reading the guideline, um, um, guidelines for the, uh, the members. And necessarily, it does not have to be so. You can either play online or you don't have to. And if, if the members feel that um, they don't want to be a member anymore because they can't play online, it, and the YouTube says... Uh, don't worry about it. If they want to just unsubscribe or join, they could do so. So, yeah, um, if I play online again, it would be probably on my own. Um, and you guys can watch that. So let's see what happens, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have Call Me A Dragon says, what time does Harry play GTA? I play GTA at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Every day. Every day. I've been streaming every day since... Um, uh, I did four months straight of playing seven uh, days a week, four games a, a day. Uh, from 10 to 1, I streamed Days Gone. From 1 to 3, I streamed Cyberpunk. From 5 to 8, I streamed Red Dead Redemption. And from 8 to 11, I streamed GTA 5. Uh, then I, after four months, I took a day off on, on Labor Day. Here in the United States, they celebrate Labor Day when everyone's off. So I said, you know something? I'm going to take the day off because I've been streaming four times a day, seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day. So I was tired. I needed the day off. So I took that day off. And ever since that day, I've been streaming again nonstop for the past, I don't know how many days. So, yeah, yeah.
So it, after a while, you get tired, uh, especially if, if you don't get a lot of sleep. And, and I don't. I get four to six hours of sleep every night, and I'm streaming 10 to 12 hours a day. So it's exhausting. Yeah. But thank you, guys. Thank you for asking, and thank you for joining the channel. And, uh, well, um, I know that you see someone on the chat putting some negative messages. You know what these guys are called already, right? You know what they're called. So just ignore them, you know, you know, ignore them. So, um, yeah, they, you know, I have those. I know every YouTuber, every streamer, every gamer have these folks. So the best thing to do is just ignore them. You know what I mean? Uh, they want attention. Plain and simple. They want attention. They're lonely. They're lonely. They don't have nobody to play with. They don't have nobody to talk to. They're probably sitting in, in the mother's basement. Uh, living off their mother, the mother's taking care of them, washing their laundry, cooking for them, cleaning for them. They don't work. They just sit around all day long and live off their parents. So, yes, ignore them. Just ignore them. All right, we have um, um, John Dow. What's up, my friend? Welcome back. I hope you're feeling better today. I hope you get enough sleep. I hope you got some of that coffee that you like so much. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Once again, thank you. I wish you well. Much love, my friend. Much love. Prince Gonta, what's up, Prince? What's going on, my friend? Haven't seen you in a little while. Prince Gonta is from Egypt, guys. Egypt. It's global, baby, global. And guess what? Prince Gonta has a two-year-old camel, and he named it Harry's Gameplay. Isn't that awesome? He has a camel, and he named it Harry's Gameplay. That is awesome. I'm proud, man. Eat your heart out, YouTubers. <laughs> I have a camel named Harry's Gameplay in Egypt. Prince Gota, what's up, my friend? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I feel fabulous. And I'm glad you're back with us here today with our family. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. All right, who else we got here? We have John Duke says, ignore them. They are not there. Yeah, right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, um, ba -ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to keep praying. I'm, I'm trying to find one intel. One intel. So that will probably be like a, a handheld recorder. I wonder what my friend God of War. Troy God of War. He's from Malta. Now, Malta is a little island in the Mediterranean. And it's in the Black Sea. Yesterday, uh, in the past couple of days that I've been playing um, Days Gone, he was trying to find stuff. I guess um, I don't know if he looked it up in a in, in a in a book for the game. I don't know if he looked it up online, but he was he's, he was helping me try to find some of the pieces that I need to complete uh, the previous um, 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 county. And finally, yesterday. Because he guided me in some areas, I found one piece that I needed to complete that particular county. So thank you. Thank you, Troy, God of War. You deserve credit for that. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. And I hope you're doing well. And all my friends from Malta, bless you all. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we have um, Brandon D. Gamer said, guys, smash that thumbs up while watching the stream. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, how do I um, become, what? How do I unbecome, guys? Uh, don't get it? Can you rephrase that um, question? Um, nothing like it? All right, let me continue. Playing, I'm going to keep playing. So, yeah, I'm looking for one intel. I'm going to show you real quick. See, Nero Intel. That's to be a handheld voice recorder. So we gotta find that. Let's go look for some caves.
Oh, I hear growling. I hear growling. Yeah. Let me get off the motorcycle. Okay, that is the cougar. That is the cougar. No, it's... Okay, I see what it is. There you go. There you go, bad boy. What you gonna do when they come for you? Uh-oh, uh-oh. The Reacher. Oh, no. It caught me off guard. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boy, bad boy. There you go. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, neat. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, we're gonna save our progress. And we're gonna continue searching. Oh no! Sally, Sally, Sally! progress I hear a lot of noise from the distance like an engine so I think some motorcycles are about to pop up on the enemy all right, they, it's getting further and further away. So yeah, I think they're going the opposite way. But well, there is some enemy in bi on bikes. And do gamer, what's up? What's going on? How you doing, my friend? Uh, I was looking for you yesterday because I went online. And I wanted you to uh, join the group and I invited a few guys a few friends, um, I don't know, about a dozen of the names that I, I recognize. I did not see your name uh, on the on the list, so I couldn't invite, it, I invite you, but um, no. Everything went okay for a while, I mean, as far as getting everything set up. I did better than the previous than the previous time. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the bot again. I'm telling you. Okay, let me see. Let me read some of the messages of some of the friends that just arrived. Uh, we have Mirko. We have, okay, I saw these already. Uh, call, call me, Mer uh, call me AJ, AJ, AJ I will, what is it? RJ, call me RJ, I believe. 
Harry, why did you end your stream last night when you were playing GTA 5? Um, I, call, I wanted to go racing and the track. That one of the purpose that I, uh, I I played last night to go um, also racing on the track with the friends and also go golfing. But my car got blown up, so I didn't have a car to go uh, racing, so I ended the stream. And when I tried to get back on, um, I had a couple of issues with the um, with the router. So I waited about 20 minutes to go back on, but nothing happened. So I decided to take a day off. But it was I, I did better than I did better than the previous time in reference to inviting um, and joining. Some of the friends joined, but uh, not everyone that I that I invited showed up. I don't know if they play, they don't like only to play solo, or maybe they were busy doing something else. Maybe, you know, they're gamers too, a lot of the friends are gaming, so maybe they were gaming and they didn't want to stop their gameplay just to, you know, play online. And maybe a lot of them know what happens when you play online with other friends. They know what happens, so I'm, they probably didn't want to be a part of that. But I ended it, yeah, and it didn't go um, uh, as planned, but... Um, at least I know that I was able to invite friends, so I got that part right. Uh, so it was pretty cool, but um, the ending wasn't cool when my car got blown up. So, so yeah, that that's why I I, I ended the, the play. Yeah, and I deleted it too. It's not on the channel because there was nothing good about it. M. Dugan says nothing ruined it. Well, uh, M. Dugan, um, nothing like it says it was a mistake. So, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, we can forgive, but we don't forget, right? That's my, that's my, I live by that rule. You can forgive, but you can't forget, right? So let, let it be that, you know. Uh, and it says, try messed up Harry's stream. And M. Dugan says, hello. I saw last night. Oh, so you were watching. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't find your name. I was looking for M. Dude Gamer, but I didn't find it on the list of friends. Because I know we, we previously played on uh, my first um, live stream with you, with you, and it was with um, uh, NFS Blue, uh, and it was with nothing like it, and that day everything went well, but last night it didn't. And I had fun that day. It was pretty cool. We did a couple of missions together. I made some money. I got to fly um, the F fighter, the, the airplane. And I also got to fly that, um, um, uh, nothing like let me ride her, uh, that scooter that flies through the air. That was pretty cool, too. But overall, hey, it's over. It's done. You know what I'm saying? The past is the past. Let's move on. All right. Um, Christian, what's up, my friend? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Christian, it's from Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the places where people live the most. Did you know that, guys? There are several places in the world, and Costa Rica is one of those places where people live the long, they, they have long lives. You know, they live to 100, 104, 105 years old. Yeah, Costa Rica is one of those places. And there's another six places in the, in the world that, um, I, I don't know if the food that they eat or what is it, the water that they drink, I don't know what it is, but yeah, they've done studies, and Costa Rica is one of those places where people live the longest lives um, in the world. Yeah, pretty cool. Welcome, Christian. I hope you're doing great. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Let me continue. I want to try to see if I find this part in this place. Well, I'm nothing like it. I put a message down where it says, "It says, well, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna unsubscribe for becoming a member, and I'm not gonna watch your channel ever again." I'm sorry you feel that way, my friend. Uh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh oh, we got someone here. Nice, nice. <laughs> Do 
the, yeah, these headphones, the audio is crazy, guys. I hear stuff like, and there's no one around because I'm looking at the map, and anyone that's near. Oh, yeah, someone's coming. I see it from the north. It's right ahead. Anytime there's someone near, you can see it on the map. But I hear all these sounds, but there's no one next to the map. It's like in the distance. It's really, really creepy. Look at, we have something up here. Oh yeah. Well, I knew it. I knew it. Save. And then we're gonna get some energy. I wonder where this um, Nero Intel could be at. I wonder where. All I can figure out is caves, because that's where I, I find most of them. And also the Nero Post. But I checked the Nero Post uh, multiple times, so I know it's not there. I could hear the sniffling of them sniffing around. It's creepy. And then the growling. And you can hear the sniffing. Like they're sniffing because they rely on, on the sense of smell and sound. So I hear a lot of sniffing and a lot of growling, even though I don't see anyone. And you just follow the sniffing, you find them. Because they're huffing and puffing. Oh, man. Vicious. Uh, M2 Gamer says, I've been working, getting home late. Yeah. Hey, you got to grind. You got to make that money, my friend. Make that money. Been there, done that. I used to work 17 hours of work a day. I used to have two jobs. Yeah, I did that for a long time. Okay, if we go into that size, this is a different district. Let me see something. I'm in Iron Butte, right? This is the county Iron Butte. If I cross over... Oh, yeah, it's going to take me somewhere else, so I, I cannot cross over. I got to stay down here. Yeah, I got to stay down here. Because this is what I'm looking for, that one part, the Nero Intel. So if I leave this county, it'll take me to a different county. And I got to find this part. Well, I'm going to play this game. Uh, I'm going to give it to Sunday. Whether I find the parts that I need to complete the game to 100% or not. Um, I don't want to get stuck in one game. I want to play different games. So if I don't complete it and get the, the 100% um, Completion, I, I, I don't worry about it. I'll just come back another day and do it and get look for whatever I find. Or if not, just leave it the way it is. I know the main story is completed to 
And the only things that I've not found is about six more pieces. Oh boy, here's another one coming to the left, right here. You can hear them. You can hear the huffing and puffing and then screaming. It's really creepy. There he is. So yeah, so Sunday, this Sunday coming up, and uh, if I can complete it, let me see, I'm going to um, uh, see what we got here. Ninety six percent completion. So I was a ninety five day for yesterday. Or well, the yesterday since I was able to find uh that collectible, tourism collectible. I I was able to uh to, thank to um a Troy God of War from Malta that he helped me find that one uh, particular tourist collectible. So now I'm at ninety six percent, so I need only four percent to be done. Uh four percent only, so uh, all the trophies, I got all of them but one. So, yeah, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, guys? It is what it is. But I'm not going to continue playing the same game. I'm on, this is the 117th episode. 117 episodes. Prince Gonta, what's up, my friend? He says, uh, since you are not doing online, are you not going to play dead by daylight? Well, um, that, uh, I tried to get that done, but it was impossible. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll just leave that on my bookshelf for now. Uh, maybe in the future, if, you know, something changes, uh, I will play that. But that was a game that I wanted to play also online with friends. But uh, as of now, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But thank you for your question. Thank you. This is blocked, so I'm not going to be able to go there. Even if I go through there, it's going to take me to a different county. We don't want to do that. So, yeah, I'll probably start playing. Uh, the game that I have in plan for this time slot is... Um, it's... Um, okay, so we can't go further that way, right? We have We have the water to our left. Can I squeeze through there? Let me see something. I don't think so. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, that would be the same place if I cross over. And there's no way to cross over because the water's too deep. And he can't swim. Yeah, so. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? How you like them cookies, big boy? All right, so. I came from that side, you don't find anything. So it's a big, 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 big lake on this side. A big lake. What is that? Oh, there's some casualties there. Uh, Joe Duke says, Brandon, how did you become a member? I tried, but I don't. it doesn't work. Uh, Joe, uh, go to the description of this game that you're watching now. On the description, there's a link. Click on that link. It should take you to the channel page where you're going to see the join button. Now, if that doesn't work, you have to uh, activate desktop on your, um, on your device. Request desktop. And then you'll probably be able to find the button. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more simpler for you, uh, go to YouTube and type, how do I change my phone desktop? 
and there should be videos. There's plenty of videos. That's how nothing like it did it. When you tried to join, uh, you didn't see the button of join on the uh, hello son on the on the page. So um, he, the friend looked at a video on YouTube and he showed them how to uh, access desktop, and then you'll see the button that says join. But there's a link on each description game on the in the description. Just look it up. Uh, where it, says, uh, it says join on it. And you see the, the the link for my channel. Then at the end of the link, it's going to say join. So click on that link, and that should take you to the channel page. But you should be able to see uh, the join button, and you just click on it and follow instructions. All right, my friend? Thank you so much. Bonjour, my friend. From France. Thank you, guys. Thank you from France. It's global, baby. Global. Thank you so much, Joe. Everything went well? Yeah, thank you. Um, no I'm problem, son. Be back. safe. I'm in the same spot. All right, son. Thank you so much. Right, How did it ride? Good? Yeah, yeah, man. Take it, son. Be and safe. You guys probably bring me a package if I don't catch them first. They're, they're probably not going to not. They're probably going to leave it out. But, so. All right. Is there a time schedule for that package? I don't think so. I have to check. I'll look it up. I'll look it up here because they usually put a time schedule and I'll keep an eye out. All right. All right, son. Beware. Stay safe. Love you. All right. Yeah, Brandon says, uh, I clicked on become member button. And pay pay four ninety nine. That's that was all. It says okay, thanks for uh, for your answer, but I don't know why I did the same thing as you, but it doesn't work. That's very odd. I'll see you later, Harry. All right, Joe. Thank you so much, my friend. You stay safe. All right? Stay healthy. Much love to you, my friend. Peace. See you later. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, my friend. I see the join button, he says. He says, I'm running off Chromebook, and that makes it easier for me. Yeah, probably because it's not... Um, Maybe you have to use a desktop view. When you use the desktop view, then you see the button. But all you have to do is use your phone or your device and turn on um, desktop. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can get to this side of the, of the lake. I'm going to go around the perimeter of the lake. Oh, wow. Oh man, they're all over the place. They're halfway buried in the water. The water's still red. You see that? That's crazy. Look, another one. That one's in the fetal position. This one right here, you see it? It's another one right over here. Wow. That was in a zombie. That was the, the enemy. That was the enemy. All right, so I'm going to ride around the perimeter of the lake. It's a big lake, real big lake. Okay, that's the airplane in the background. You see that blue? That's the tail from the airplane that crashed. Now, now that I say that, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. I know I searched that area plenty of times, but let's go see. That's not the entrance. This is not the entrance. I gotta travel a little bit further down to the left. 
That's where we could get um, access to where the plane is at. Uh, we'll see it on this side. No, it's on this side. I believe it's up here. Yeah, there it is. Let's see how the engine. Now, it's time through here, I believe. Yeah, that's the main plane. That's the whole. Uh, this is where you first going to encounter the breaker. Your face, your first encounter with the breaker is going to be here. That's for the first time when you're going to meet him. And you got to fight him. And your weapon is not as uh, powerful. And you don't have a lot of um, a supplies, so it's very difficult. Yeah, when you walk up here, you're going to see him back there, right over there. Uh, he's um, actually beating someone up. And the reason you come here was for to get a med kit to help um, Boozer. Uh, when Boozer got sick because of his injuries. So we're going to search again. We have a trap here. We're going to set it up again, a bear trap. And we're going to click on this to see what else we can find here. It would be nice if I could find it. You just got to be careful because I have bear traps everywhere. Okay, here's a mushroom. This is scaly uh, groundhog or hedgehog. Yeah, hedgehog. There's some ammo. Can use this. Oh, there's another bear trap. Let's set it up right there. Now you can use these. When the uh, breaker is chasing you, just lead them to it and then do what I just did. And if it's near uh, by, that will definitely. Uh, take his energy down because he's going to have a huge energy bar up top of the screen and you got to keep hitting him, hitting him and hitting him until that, um, that energy bar uh, diminishes and then you finally get him. But he's going to take a lot of hits, a lot of hits. Some alcohol. I hear dogs barking. Isn't that crazy? Okay, that back there is the trap. That is the trap, the bear trap. That is a creepy sound. Nothing in here. Oh, it's Sally. That is Sally. And she's humming.
get some ammo. Stay down. Okay, so there's nothing to the left, there's nothing to the right. There's a couple of things back here. See those markers? Let's go see what that is. Uh, that's another bear trap. Sally humming again. Okay, we can pick this up. Bear grass. Bear. And you, give me a minute, guys. I gotta turn my alarm off. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, the alarm was going off, so I don't want to disturb anyone that's sleeping still because they had a day off today. Let me read some of your messages, guys, and then I'll, I'll get back to the gameplay. Okay, so the last one was um, I'm running off Chromebook. So if everyone doing well, Brandon D. Gamer acts, I'm doing fine. Michael Cargova, Jefferson Airlines airplane. Brandon says, Harry, if this was still the old days, 
what game will you still be playing today? Well, back in the day when I was uh, a young buck, let's say, <laughs> a young lad, I used to play um, uh, one of my favorite games back then was um, Zelda, Legend of Zelda, and I also used to play Mega Man. And um, also um, a game that I still have, um, which I, I really enjoy playing a lot, Metal Solid Gear. Well, this PlayStation 2, my son used to play the game. Once in a while, I used to play. We used to play together in the game, and I really enjoyed this game a lot. And this was for PlayStation 2. I still got it. I still got a bunch of games right here on the on the shelf. But, um, yeah. That would probably be one of the most popular games. I also played another game called B-52 Bomber. It was pretty cool. So, yeah. Maybe one of those. Uh, the alarm is for the car, Brandon. It's the car alarm. My son, I let my car, uh, my son had a, a fixed the tire, so he used my car, uh, but he didn't set the alarm properly, so he set it to um, um, really sensitive um, um, motion or sound, so even when a car goes by, it goes off, so I had to go reset it and set it on the regular mode, so it will go off every five minutes or every time a car goes by, but no, everything's cool. All right, all right, so we have uh, Plasmic Productions. What's up, my friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that is a game that Metal Solid Gear is a game that I really enjoy a lot. Uh, I was looking at um, I was looking at it the other day because they do have other parts. Uh, um, plasma, something. Let me see. I have it written down. It was... Um, Ground Zeroes, and also Phantom, Phantom Pain. I was looking at it the other day. I'm contemplating probably buying that game because I really enjoyed playing the uh, part two, which was years ago. And I didn't play it uh, fully. I just played it for some times when I was on uh, my days off from work. I used to work 17 hours a day, so I didn't have many time, much time to play games. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be probably... A good game to play. Uh, we have Joe Duke says, I'm playing on PS1 and watching your stream. Wow, PS1, that's awesome. I still have PS1. I still got it. I have the console. It's right there. Felix, hello. What's going on, my friend? Welcome back. Thank you so much. She says, I just got home and here I am, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hope you're feeling great. I feel fabulous. I hope you feel fabulous, too. I'm here with a bunch of friends. Uh, we're all chatting back and forth and playing a little bit of the game. Yeah, Snake Eater and Peace Walker. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing because I have everything of that game. It's intact. I even got the, the little memory card. Remember, because back then you couldn't save the game unless you had a little memory card. I have the memory card. It's upstairs. You will place the memory card right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get it later on and I'm going to put it here. But I have everything. The game is, is, is not a single scratch. And here is the, the book for the instructions, which look like a comic book. Look at this, guys. It looks like a comic book. Because everything, it wasn't online back then. So it actually looks like um, a comic book. So it's like it's a collectible, you know. It will show you how to make the moves, what to do, and you read on it. It looks like a comic book, and it's still intact. Like, it's brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. I keep everything. I, I don't throw anything away. I don't sell them or anything. So I always try to keep a collection of everything. 
So it will show you, you know, by a picture, what to do and how to do it. Now they just give you instructions. And you have to do it. And you know what the funny part, guys, is? Look. It still has the price tag. $9.99. $9.99. Now games are going for $69. $70. $59. $40. What happened to $9.99? It still has the tag on it. You see it right there? That's the original price tag. So, back when... We play these games, they only cost like $10, 20 The most expensive one probably would be $20. But this was $9.99 when we picked it up, when we bought it. And it's the original box, everything's in top, like mint condition. So, you know, what happened? Now the prices are like 10 times that. Look at this one. <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man. And still, we got everything. Everything is in, inside the cover. Everything's inside. Everything's awesome. Everything. Anyway, I got a bunch of others, but I'm not going to take my time just showing you guys. But you get an idea. All right, here we go, guys. Um, empties it didn't make them like they used to. Yeah, they didn't make them like they used to. Definitely not. So Trick says, "How old is Harry?" Brandon says, "Yup, the good of the memory card. You could get them in eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four PlayStation Two. Yeah, that's it." Prince Gotta said, "Harry is a hundred and two years old." <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm 61 years old. I was born in 1961 in New York City. <laughs> 102, that will be 41 years from now. I'll be streaming and saying, All right, Prince Gunta, how's the camel going? Do you still got the camel named Harry Gameplay Channel? Gunta, do you ride the camel? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? All right, guys, I'm going to be streaming. GTA, GTA 57, all right? Make sure you guys click like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, never play Wii, no. I, I heard about it, but like I said, I used to work 17 hours a day, so I didn't have much time to play games. Uh, my son would be playing, and I would sit in for a little while and, and play the game. Uh, together, but no, it wasn't like I would sit there for hours and hours and hours and play it. No, I played it once in a while. Yeah, it, it was it was it was a lot of fun, but yeah, it, it's one of my favorite games. Ever favorite games back in the day, if, like you asked me, what were you playing if you were back in the day? So, yeah, that, that would be. That'll be one of the games. But The Legend of Zelda, I play that a lot. I play Tron. I don't know if you guys remember Tron. Uh, Mega Man. Those were like adventure games. Play Spider-Man. Spider-Man's always been around. All right, there's nothing here, guys. I'm out of here. What's up here? I can't even climb up there. Yeah, there's no way to climb up there. Yeah, there's nothing. When I, I press the button, there's nothing up there, so. There's more ammo. We can use that. Hmm. Okay.
Sally got caught in a trap. That's a shame. He got caught in a trap. Cause I love you too much, baby. Caught in a trap. Well. Uh, no problem, my friend, Brandon. You're very, very much welcome. Thank you. I hear gurgling. I hear gurgling. I knew it. I knew it. Get off of me, get off of me, get off of me. It gurgles. It gurgles. I, I knew it was something was coming. It's like gurgling. Like that. Very strange sound. Very, 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 very strange. The mushroom, the mushroom, 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 mushroom. It's an airplane crash, you know, it crashed right here. It's incredible, right? Now I got to go back to my motorbike, which is all the way down there. I tend to do this all the time. I wander off from the motorbike. Now, when you start playing the game, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Keep your motorcycle, a motorcycle next to you because sometimes you need to make a quick escape. Let's get this plant right here. Arrowhead. Yeah, sometimes if you got a big herd, I mean horde, that you can't beat, you can get on the motorcycle and, and run away. And come back another day to fight. Here we go, here we go again, here we go again. Come on. I like them cookies, big boy. Rip. Fear the rising. Fear the rising, guys. Rip. Arthur Morgan, what's up? Welcome, my friend. Harry, do you have a your fishing pole? Uh, you can't go fishing here. That would be um, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> I 
more gargling. There's more coming. I hear it. Okay, the sound went away. So that means it's stalking me. What are we tracking? I want to search this area here. There might be caves along this ridge or along this ridge. Oh no, this is this is the um this is the tech place. Something there. Let's go there. I think there might be some rippers around here. I see motorcycles. I see motorcycles. Hey, Ecclesiastes, hello, my friend, welcome. Ecclesiastes, all the way from Ireland, it's global, baby, global, global. Ecclesiastes has been with my channel for the longest. He's a good old friend. You're annoyed? What happened? This was the kid's bed. Look at that. All the stuff. Kid's stuff. I guess that was the husband and wife. Right? Yeah. Ok, 
creepy. That's real creepy. Real creepy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Nasty. Nasty boy. Maxed out, maxed out, maxed out. Oh, wow. Oh, you didn't do well in your science test? Let's see. You got a D. Right, let's go. Uh, I know why you're annoying now. Now that you study enough. Just study a little more and next time you'll do better. I know you can do it. I know you can. Just make sure you pray, and next time you study a little bit more. Well, Sally, right over there. I'm out of here. I'm trying to find this part. I don't want to step, hang around, and. On the road, damn it. He's some cover. I need some cover from the sniper. So we can find out where he's at. And then we're going to take him down. It could be a girl too, so it, it could be anything. I was coming from this side. I'm looking for a platform on the tree, in the tree. Okay, there it is. And I hear gurgling. They build these platforms in the tree. Nice, 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 nice. Now he's not going to fall off the tree. But they build these platforms, you see it? Wasn't that crazy? So now when we come here, we're going to see this axe. But it's not on the ground, it's up on the tree. And he can't climb no trees. There's two of them up there. There's no way we can bring that down. Not doing anything. See, but it's going to show an X. And you see the map? It shows an X. That's because he's up there. Let me get this mushroom. There's a mushroom right over here. Nice. So those were the rippers. 
Ah, uh, your new Sally. Hey, what's up, my friend? You became a member? Awesome, you joined. Uh, you said you were in, in, what is it, Hill? What is it? Are you doing 20 years? Your new Sally. And he's incarcerated. He said he's doing 20 years. I forgot the place he, he was in. What was the place you, um, you're in? Uh, new Sally. I remember, I remember you, I remember you. Thank you for joining us once again. Don't get any trouble, man. Somehow you got a phone, huh? <laughs> Green Hill. There you go, Green Hill. <laughs> I wish you the best, man. Take care of yourself, all right, my friend? I wish you all the best. I hope you get out of there quicker than that. 20 years is a long time, my friend. I wish you all the luck in the world, man. Hey, Scully, what's going on, my friend? Welcome back, Scully. He says, I got nothing to say. I said, my friend Harry is ultimate. Thank you so much, my friend, for your kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you Scully. Thank you, Scully. And thank you, um, New Sally, <laughs> for becoming a, a member. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I really appreciate your support, man. Uh, just hang strong, man. Hang strong. I know you can do it. Uh, you got a body? Oh, wow. You got to face 16 for the body. 16 years. Wow, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. I, I, I've known people that, uh, well, I don't know them personally, but I read stories where people have bodies, and they only give them like eight, nine years. So that's kind of odd that you got 16 years. Oh, wow. that That is nuts. Wish you all the best luck in the world, my friend. Just hang tight. All right, so we're going to go the area that I had tracked. It's right in front of us. Right there. So let's check this area here. See, I see some ripper stuff up there. Okay, it's deserted. Anything up there? No, it's not showing anything. Let me go take a look. Oh, there is something up here. Why didn't it show? That's a lot of stuff up here. Why didn't it mark it? I got plenty of everything. That's probably why. That's probably why. Well, let's head back down again. Uh, sensitivity says, do I know you personally? Uh, no. I don't think so. Okay, I hear that, that gurgling sound again.
No, there was nothing there. There's the other. We don't want to cross over through the tunnel because that'll take us to a different county. So we're just going to check this ridge to see if we find any caves. Doesn't look, doesn't look good. Now to the right is this camp that is closed. That has an electric fence all the way around it. It doesn't electrocute us, but um, it's a place where his wife, Sarah, used to work. And he had access to it when she was working there. Uh, and she had access when she was working there, but now they don't have any access. Uh, we did pick up a couple of things uh, that she needed to use um, to be able to... Um, um, I put together the um, napalm bomb so when she needed supplies we used to come in and pick them up but now it's closed and there's no hole in the fence or anything I already checked plenty of times Uh, let me look at the map once again. Okay, so we just searched this area here. This ridge come all the way around, all the way around, and we came back around. There's nothing there. We also checked this ridge here, all the way straight down. There's nothing there. Now we can check the opposite side of the ridge, all the way around here, and see what we can find there. So we'll make a U-turn. I heard some voices. So let's check this side here. That's a lot of trees. It's really difficult to avoid them, but do your best. Oh, there's nothing here. check this entire camp Troy what's up what's going on my friend welcome back hope you're having a great day uh, Troy God of War he's watching us from Malta welcome my friend it's global baby global <laughs> I'm looking for that Nero Intel one piece I just, I've been, I've been checking all, I've been searching around the rock ridges. Because normally you find those pieces in caves. And uh, it can be a handheld recorder. I think that's what it is. Wow, look at this place. Looks creepy. It will look. It looks like a place that you would find a cave, right? But look, no. Oh wow, this place looks really, really. It looks like from another planet. Look at it. Creepy looking. It's like the water has receded, but at one point the water went all the way up there to that edge. 
Now we have to be careful here. We don't want to fall in. It looks kind of it looks kind of deep. Let me see something. Yeah, it's black. It's dark water, so that's definitely deep. Yeah, we don't want to go in there. He can't swim. Can't swim at all. Hey, Jacob, what's up? I'm Armadillo. Armadillo. Jacob Armadillo. There's some mushrooms. Well, I thought it was a K, but it's not. Well, the search continues. Is the bunker? The underground bunker. Probably like 15 feet deep underground. Oh, look at that. It is filthy. We have a gun locker right here. We can get ammo and also we can take a nap. At one point, this will belong to the Nero personnel, but then the Rippers took over, and then the Zombies took over, and then now we own it. So, in every any of these camps that you defeat it, there's a locker, and it's a bunker. Uh, you have to make sure when you defeat a camp that you look for that bunker. Uh, otherwise, it will be uh, shown as completed. That was good. That was good. Okay, that one. Okay, try this one again. There we go. That was perfect. Okay, good. Now, if you can see the, the double Zs, that means you can sleep there. This one doesn't have them. That one doesn't have them. So you have to see the, dou the double Zs. And just uh, put a quick save. And press the square. Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Octane, what's going on? Welcome, my friend. Yeah, the headset, I had it for about four years, but I never wore it. But I had it for a while now. It's a 7.0. Um... Um, HD. It, it sounds awesome. The sounds are awesome. Give me a minute, guys, please. I'll be right back. Go back at it.
Thank you so much, Lord Francis. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Troy God of War says, Harry, Nero Intel usually are close to Nero checkpoints. Yeah, I found all of them. Uh, the other ones that I haven't found, I believe, are in the caves. But I checked all the uh, Nero, uh, believe me, two or three times each. And I haven't been able to find uh, the Nero Intel. It usually is a... Um, um, a handheld uh, recording device, like a voice recorder. But um, um, the caves also have them in the caves. I have found some in caves. I believe the last one that's missing here, I believe it's in the cave. But I'll, I'll, I'll double check. When I'm nearby the uh, Neo, uh checkpoints, uh, I'll double check again. But believe me, I've, I've searched a lot of times, George. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for your recommendation. Thank you. Octane says, hey, Harry, I'm late. Just see you with new heads. Yeah, the cool, the sets, uh, 7.1 audio, which is surround sound. Uh, um, PlayStation 5 supports uh, HD um, so sound, so it sounds amazing. I hear sounds from all over the place now. I don't wear them too much because they give me a headache after a while. Since I stream 10 to 12 hours a day, after a while, it becomes uncomfortable. So I might be wearing it for this stream, but then for the other streams, I might not worry, be wearing them. Uh, but um, last time I used them again uh, for a uh, GTA, but um, for the two previous um, streams, which was uh, Red Dimension Dead, I didn't wear them, or for um, Cyberpunk, I didn't wear them. I let my head uh, relax because it feels like I have a vice, even though they are kind of loose, but they're still, it feels uncomfortable. But thank you. Thank you for your um, comment. Thank you so much. Um, there, uh, By the way, there are plenty um, PlayStation, Sony PlayStation headsets. They are. They are brand new. They are brand new. I had them for a while, and they were just sitting in a box collecting dust. And they're wireless. They're wireless. I have the wire right now connected so they can charge up because last night I forgot to charge them up. But the wireless controller is on the um, the little adapter, USB. You plug it into PlayStation, and right now it's on. The light's on, so, and that means that it's, it's, it's transmitting. Because I don't have a wire connected to the to the controller. The only wire to the controller is for the power. But I don't have a wire for the controller, so it's actually a Bluetooth. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, um, when I bought them four years ago, I paid two hundred and eighty, ninety dollars for them. Now they're on sale for like two forty, two fifty. Uh, just type in um, Sony PlayStation uh, Wireless, and you'll see them. They're on sale for two hundred and forty. Uh, GTA went pretty good as far as me trying to get everyone invited. Not everyone that I invited was able to join in. For what reason, I don't know. I played for a little bit. It took about half an hour just to you know, wait for people to join. Finally, like two or three friends finally joined in. I played for a little while. I went to the casino. I wanted to go racing at the track, and then I wanted to go golfing. But um, one of the friends decided to blow up my car, uh, the first car. Uh, I had two cars. Uh, my first car that I was able to acquire, and then the second car, my son helped me get it. But, and we also bought a property. So now he has a garage and a property. But they blew up my car. So then I wanted to go racing. When I tried to call the car, the car was destroyed. So I, I ended the stream. Um, I don't think it was right. Um, I, I always, when I, I, I told the friends that if we go online, everyone has to behave and we can destroy each other's property. That happened. The friend says that it was an accident. Uh, okay, it's so always an accident. So like I said, I'm, I'm willing to forgive. But I don't forget. But, yeah, I ended the stream, and then I deleted it. So it's not on the channel. But thank you for your question. Thank you. Uh, Sean GC says, um, okay, this is a different language. Let me try to translate this if it's possible. My translator. Uh, no. It doesn't translate it. Yeah, it doesn't have a translation. Uh, yeah, if you have a translator on your computer or your phone, use the translator. 
because uh, my translator is not translating what you're saying, my friend. Uh, we have another friend. Let me try to translate that, uh, his name or her name. I don't know if it's, let's say, friend. Uh, uh, Jakislava. Jakislava. Jakislav. Jakislav Galotinov. I'm 61 years old. I'm 61 years old, guys, if you guys want to know, okay? I was born in 1961. I'm 61 years old. Uh, Hugo, Auntie, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I. Yeah, Sean, I, I don't have a translate. I'm trying to translate your what you're saying, but my translator is not able to. So if you have a translator, you should translate it when you type on the chat. And then I will be able to read it. All right, my friend? Thank you. But welcome. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to my, my stream. Thank you. Also, uh, Jakoslav, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your for your, um, for your watching. Thank you. Uh, I think say, yes, give me a second. Okay, thank you, my friend. Yeah, they don't say, oh, you can pick it up anytime. It's they're pretty cool. Uh, it's 7.1 audio, so it's uh, HD audio. It's around. All right, let me keep playing, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's nothing in here either, so... Whatever was in here I already found. It's just marking the bed where he can sleep. But there's nothing else in here. Yeah, I'm going to be playing this at 12.40. I got about another 20 minutes. Then I'm going to sign off and I'll come back and I'm going to be playing um, Cyberpunk 2077. I'm almost done with that game. And that's where the helicopter is at. I've been up there already. And I've checked numerous times. So there's nothing there, but at one point there was, and I already picked up what was there. Okay, so I checked. Let me check the map. No, we got to go this way. Go this way. Oh, I just checked here, too. Yeah, this is where that, I was... Um, that kind of that, that lake was, or that river, and it looked kind of creepy. That was it. So let's go here. We're not going to be able to cross here because it's broken. See it? But we can go this way all the way around and check this area. Maybe even this house. So let, I'm going to go through here first. There's something right in front of us. It's a wolf. The sound is creepy because you hear them there on you. Like they're surrounding you. No, 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 no. Get off of me, get off of me, bad dog. Oh, now you too. Get off of me, get off of me. Get, get, get. Is it a parade? 
the vicious animals, it's a wolf pack. Woo! Michael Salazar, what's up? You like the puppies? Yeah, these are wolf puppies. I got gurgling again. It can be a um, cougar. No, we're going to go this way. Uh, I think this is broken, but I, I'm going to I'm going to see. Yeah, this is the dam we blew up. We blew it up. Yeah, we blew it up. No, that's not too deep. But there's no axis. Let me see. That looks kind of deep. That looks kind of deep. I'm going to try it. No, he's not climbing up, is he? Go up. Go over it. No. So that means there's nothing there. Yeah, nothing's being marked, so that means there's nothing here. Okay, there is some powder here. That's it. Okay, it's marking a couple of things over there. See that? Um, I don't think I can jump over this. Oh, you can. I don't know if it's safe. Hmm. I want to try it. Can you jump over? No, he's not jumping over. Oh, jumping in. Yeah. He's not jumping in. Go over, go over, go over. Nope. No, he's not climbing up. Right, he's not jumping over. Let me go around and see if I can get access to the other side. But I go to, I gotta go around. Okay, here's some parts. Box of nails. Why? 
Wartezeit. All right, I'll check those Nero um, uh, checkpoints, okay? Give me a minute, let me check this area. Uh, this place has is something inside, but it's, it's locked. Okay, it looks like it's in the outside. Okay, here's one of them. I could pick one of them up. Yeah, I think those items are in the outside. There's two and one on the left, on the right. Yeah, that's out. Yeah, these are out too. There's two right there. So that's the three that is marking. There's one on the bush, in the bushes, and one on those, on that trash bin. Yes, when it was story mission, yes. This is the dam we blew it up. Um, Boozer and and Dick blew up this dam uh, to flood the Ripper camp, which was an enemy. So, yeah, we blew it up. So, at that time, you had access to it, but now it's closed. I need some fuel. Yeah, it goes the rest of the place. See, this was the area we were at earlier. With the dam. I'm going to go the opposite way in order to get access to that. All right, let's go to the Nero checkpoint. So there's what's one right there. No, this is the ambush camp. I went there already. This is the checkpoint. And this is the other one. This is Wagon Road ambush camp. No, this is checkpoint. So I'm, I, um... Iron Beard only has one checkpoint. That one only. This is a ambush camp. And this is an ambush camp also. So it only has one check Nero point, which is the one I went to earlier. I'll go there. Quick save. Deer crossing. Well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? Ah, I need fuel. Ah, uh, Sansky, what's up, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. 
Joy God of War says, by the way, the sound you hear of Cougar sometimes is actually the fuel tank making noise when approaching the bike. KNL Collectibles, what's going on, my friend? What's up? Collectible games. K and L collectible and games. Collectibles. I have a lot of. I have a lot of uh, base football cards, baseball cards. I have coins. I have placards. I have the um, the Dream Team uh, coin set. Uh, one troy ounce each. I got the whole set. I got that from. I got that from uh, Ben Ogre. Right in Oregon, it's a place that sell collectibles, and I got those coins like 20 years ago. Yeah, maybe longer. Ah, yeah, I have the Dream Team card set, uh, trading card set. I have a Dream Team jacket. I have the Dream Team uh, figurines, the little plastic figurines. I have the coin set. So I have a collection of that. I have football cards, 3D football cards, baseball cards, Willie Mays, all those, all those guys. Uh, do you collect that? That's what you collect? In games, I have the games from back in the day when my son used to play them, man. We got PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We even have uh, Nintendo 64. All right, here's the checkpoint. Okay, we're going to start from this corner, right from the entrance. And we're going to check to see if we found this Nero. Now, it could be out in the, um, around the surroundings, too. It doesn't necessarily have to be inside. Uh, maybe one of the soldiers decided to take a walk, and he was holding a recorder. Maybe he dropped it outside the camp. So, we're going to start searching the perimeter. Then we're going to check the interior. I'm hoping I can find it. That would be nice, Troy. Yeah, Troy's from Malta. He's a good friend. He helped me yesterday find one of the pieces I needed to complete uh, one of the other counties. That was pretty cool. I really appreciate his his help. So I give him credit for that because he was able to help me. He guided me uh, to where I could find the the last piece in that county, and I found it. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. Troy's from Malta. It's a little island in the Mediterranean, in the Black Sea. Isn't that awesome, guys? You got friends from all over the world. It's global, baby, global. <laughs> all right, so I don't see anything else around here. A, few, a can of fuel. Uh, this will take us down to the... Anyway, let's climb down. Yeah, we don't want to go to that um, that tunnel. That takes us to another county. Let's check back here. Uh, KL Collectible says, collected a bunch of different things over the years. 
I just got into game streaming a few weeks ago. Funko Pop, uh, designer collectibles, music, movies are basis of the channels, basically, uh, though. Okay, I see. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to collect a lot of things, but then I stopped, you know. I used to collect um, the comic books from Spider-Man from back in the days in the 70s. But sadly, when, my, when we moved to New York, to Philadelphia, my father left all that behind. He didn't want to bring it. So I wish I had those Spider-Man collectible comics. Back in the day, you used to buy three in a pack for, for 99 cents. So, yeah, that was sad. I used to collect also Charlie Brown. Little Charlie Brown um, and Snoopy. Little comic books. Left those too. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Troy, yeah, definitely check the uh, perimeter. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let me continue searching here, my friends, and we'll keep chatting as I go along. Oh, wait a minute, I got to keep track of the time. Oh, man, I got seven more minutes, guys. And then I'm going to be signing off, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to be playing um, Cyberpunk 2077. So make sure you guys uh, have all your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe first, uh, so that way you won't miss any live streams for my channel, Harry Gameplay Channel. Okay, so we just searched the entire perimeter in the outside, right? So now we're going to check the perimeter in the inside. And then we'll check the interior. Now, if there was something along the outside perimeter, I would have been able to see it through the, uh, with the magic see-through like I'm doing now. But I'm just going to give it a second uh, look over just to make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything so that way I don't have to come back here again and search again, which I know I've checked here before. But you never know. Maybe I missed something, you know? Maybe one of these cases will open and then you can find something that will be uh, such as a Miro Intel, um, um, Intel information, such as uh, information that we're gathering about the zombies, why it was happening, what, that, what made them turn into zombies. So that's the type of information we're looking for. Here's one of the Nero personnel, what was left to him. Uh, these guys will carry Nero... Um, IPC um, uh, tech, which is what I used to craft the uh, stun gun. And it took 18 pieces to do that. Let me climb up here real quick. Just to make sure there's nothing on top. Nope. Let's see, keep hitting that button. Already searched this area when I want to cross. So yeah, give me about 20 minutes after I sign off and I will become, I'll come back and I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077. I'll play that until 3 o'clock. And then at 3 o'clock I'll sign off once again and I'll come back and I'll be playing Red Dead Redemption until 8 or 7.40, I should say. And then at 7.40, I'll take 20 minutes to come back and I'm going to be playing GTA 5 until 11. Uh, that will be my my complete um, gameplay for today and every day. Okay, in here... I can get this. There's nothing else I can get. So. I already checked that. Well. We have a can of fuel. 
Now let's check the interior. Nothing up here. Let's check inside this this unit. We have a, a locker, also a med kit. Nothing in here. These crates? No. This truck? No. We already searched the top of that vehicle. No. It's truck. No. Did I check this one already? Yes, I did. This guy's not holding anything. I checked these already. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Other than supplies. I should turn on and off the um, generator. Yeah, sadly, there's nothing here. This you can get inside if you want to. And hide. <laughs> I never use them. I don't. Yeah. Uh, the top of the tunnel. Uh, I don't think I have access to the top. I I have checked it before. As a matter of fact, in one of the one of the IPC cards was at another location, right up top of the tunnel, right on top, right where with like that piece they call the key. That that's where it was at. But I don't think I have access to the top of the tunnel on this one. You see, it's too high, and on that side it's blocked off uh, with the um, you see with the wood. You see, I tr I tried it before, but he keeps falling off. See, I tried jumping, but he doesn't jump. Yeah, he doesn't jump either. So he doesn't swim and he doesn't jump. Yeah, I found it right at the top of the key, which is the top piece, the middle center. It's called the key. Yeah, they don't. They don't let me cross over, so... And plus, if... if uh, look at the moon. Wow. Beautiful. So as you hear in the background, that's my alarm clock. It's telling me that um, I need to sign off. So I'm going to sign off, my friends. Thank you so much for the like. Thank you so much for the uh, the views. Uh, thank you for your comments and your questions, your suggestions. I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you for subscribing, those who subscribe. Thank you to those who became members, uh, like the new Sally, and um, um, what else, what else I want to say, oh, uh, nothing like it, uh, please don't be upset, you know, it was just a game, like I said, I, I will forgive you, but I don't forget, but um, you know, don't take it that hard, because I was the one that got destroyed, not you, <laughs> so please, you know, stay with us, stay, you know, hang in there, and uh, we'll, I'll be seeing you guys later on today, uh, give me about 20 minutes. And you guys stay healthy, stay safe, be aware of your surroundings, buckle up that seatbelt when you get in the car. Much love to you all. Peace. Bye-bye. See you soon.